Hello, introductory video on Newton's law of restitution, also known as Newton's experimental law. Well, if I take a ball and I let go of it, gravity brings it down to the ground and it bounces up and it tends not to bounce up to the full height. Um, if we've got a really springy ball, it bounces up pretty well to the full height. If I've got something like one of those juggling bags, um, it just hits the ground and doesn't come back. So what's going on here? Well, Newton spent a lot of time looking at this and observing it, and he created a law. He found a law that was going on here, and here it is. E, what he found was that if he had his ball and he dropped it from any height or hit the threat in at any speed, if he got his speed of arrival here, u, and he calculated his speed of separation, v, so that's v, this is v, v over u in um, sort of algebra, that if he divided v by u, he got a constant value for a particular ball and a particular a ground. Yeah? It does, it's not always the same if you change the ball or you change the ground. It's dependent on the um, grouping. Yeah, a setup. So he found that this was a constant uh, ratio E, and he called this ratio the coefficient of restitution. And he also um, realized that there were bounds to this figure. So let's have a think about what those bounds are. Well, we talked about having a really bouncy ball, and if we had a really bouncy ball, our velocity going out is the same as our velocity going in. So that means that the E would equal 1. And if the E equals 1, then we're going to get a full height bounce. And this is called a, a perfectly elastic collision. He also saw that if he took something like a juggling bag and he um, dropped that, well, yeah, the V afterwards, well, it didn't come up at all. It just hit the ground. So V equals 0. And if V equals 0, that means that E equals 0. Yeah, and we're getting no bounce if we get E equals 0. And the situation, therefore, is we call that totally inelastic collision. And therefore, we can conclude that there's a range to our coefficient of restitution, and that's between 0 and 1. Well, that was for a ball hitting a floor. What happens if um, we have two balls or two objects collide, both moving, able to move and colliding with each other? Well, this law still applies up here. We just need to understand what we mean by speed of separation and speed of arrival. Uh, I'm going to set this one up here. So the ball on the left, this is going to be unusual for me because I like usually I like to have all my um, arrows for velocity going in the same direction. But to make this simpler for you to see, I've set them so as if they're going towards each other. So the left-hand ball is coming in at U1 and the right-hand ball is coming in at U2 before the collision. So because they're coming towards each other, so effectively our speed of arrival, the speed at which they're approaching each other, is going to be the two added together, isn't it? Then they have their collision, boom, and we have an impulse between the two, and afterwards they're travelling away from each other, and therefore the fact that they're separating at speed means but yeah, that's adding together, isn't it? That they're going fast, going away from each other faster. So the f distance between them is growing quicker and therefore the velocity between them is greater, V1 plus V2. So as long as we understand that, that our speed of arrival is the combined speed of the two balls and our speed of separation is the combined speed of separation of the two balls, the um, Newton's law of restitution works. So here we are, quick summary for you to take notes on, or copy down. Uh, Newton's law, restitution is all about E and this constant ratio of speed of separation to speed of arrival. We've got the range there between 0 and 1, between totally inelastic collisions and perfectly elastic collisions. And we need to make sure that we set up our uh, relations um, and find our speed of arrival and speed of separation. Uh, U and V, and on the left-hand side we've got a single ball or object hitting a immovable wall or floor, and on the right-hand side we've got two balls bumping into each other. So there you have it.